What's up guys, it's Jeremy here, and yes, I am finally back. It's been a while since I've made a video, but I am here. So anyways, a few of you guys have DM'd me on Instagram or commented on some of my Instagram pictures asking how I edit my Instagram photos. So I figured, why not make a video about it? And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I feel like this is so awkward. <laughs> By the way, if you're new to my channel and if you want to see more videos of me, hit the subscribe button because I do make videos every Monday. But anyways, enough with this intro crap. Um, let's get started with the video. So just a little overview, this is my Instagram theme. It has a minimalistic vibe to it and the color palette that I use are mostly white, black, dark green, and skin tone colors. And by the way, if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, my uh, username is iJeremyClyde. Follow me, I will love you forever, and yeah. But yeah, this is my Instagram theme, and I don't think I'm gonna change it soon because I'm actually really doing well on keeping up my theme. This is the furthest like thing I've ever gotten on actually maintaining a theme, so I'm really proud of myself for that. But anyways, enough of my Instagram theme, let's get on to the editing process. So obviously the first step is to take a picture and I took this one a little while ago and it's not the best picture but it'll do for now just for the, um, you know, just for the sake of this video. The next step I do is that I go to Photoshop Fix and just a little info about this app. This app is honestly really, really good and if you don't want to pay money for Facetune then definitely get this app. I would recommend it's free and it's very easy to use and it's a really good alternative. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and import the picture that I took earlier. So basically the main things that I do in Photoshop Fix is to mainly just remove all the blemishes or like remove unwanted things like dust or random objects so yeah and on this picture I can't really find anything to remove but let's just say I want to remove this mouse cursor right here so what I would do is I would click the healing tool change the size and I would just zoom in and hover over the uh, mouse cursor and there you go it's gone this is really good if you want to like just clean up all the mess that are in the picture that you don't want so go ahead and do that if you want to clean it and yeah, so the second thing that I do is I go to my uh, light button right here and I would increase the size to maybe about 35 and the opacity to around 75 and I would just start painting things that I want to lighten up like this part right here because it's kind of dark and yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I just lighten things up. And I will show you guys the result in a sec. So as you can see right here, I've lightened the background. And the reason why I did that is because I really want the um, background to be white. Just so the black would pop out even more. And so that's pretty much what I do on Photoshop Fix. Now I'm just going to save this picture right here to my camera roll. And I would go on to my next editing software. Alright, so the next editing app that I use is ViscoCam. Now honestly... I pretty much use ViscoCam for most of my Instagram editing because I feel like they have a lot of options and yeah. So basically I'm just going to import the picture that I took earlier and uh, that I've edited in Photoshop Fix, import it here and I would just click this little button right here. Now I don't personally use the, uh, the preset effects that are on ViscoCam because I don't really find them. It's not my aesthetic but um, I used to use it before but not anymore since I've had this theme but I would just go on here and I would always always um, lighten up the exposure a bit so to maybe like um, a one and for the contrast I would also increase it just to darken all the blacks like that and I would also lower the saturation because I feel like it gives more of a calming effect like it's not too bright like it's not too saturated and I like it that way, if that makes any sense. I honestly feel like I'm just rumbling and I don't even know what I'm talking about and I don't even know if you guys could understand what I'm talking. So I'm just really hoping that this video is understandable. <laughs> but anyways, I just lowered my saturation to maybe about a 2 and I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I do on VisuCam, not too much, but if I do want to add more things, I usually add more fade. Like I put fade to like a number 2, but for this picture I won't do that because it's it doesn't really suit it and so I'll just leave it to zero and sometimes if my uh, skin on the original picture is too like saturated I would go to skin tone and I would like increase it to the right to make it more um, more or less saturated and not too saturated that it 
I'm just gonna stop. But yeah guys, that is pretty much what I do. I'm just gonna save this picture and as you can see right here, it matches my theme and it's all good. And I would actually upload this to Instagram, but I'm not at the moment because I don't want to post it yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you guys like it. If you guys find this helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment down below, like this video and let me know if you guys want me to see more videos like this because it will really help me out a lot don't forget to follow me on my social medias links are down below or i can just put them on the screen at the outro part so yeah but other than that i will see you guys next monday